Rose coming into the javelin presentation. Men's javelin scheduled to start right now. Here's the first six men. And to look at is the man from Mainz, Julian Weber. He is a very talented athlete indeed. Leads the European rankings with 78 70. Well, we dipped in and out of the presentation of the men's javelin. Let me tell you who the 12 men are. Kinunen from Finland, Kubesh from the Czech Republic, Batsavalis from Greece, Oleszczuk from Poland, Rivashtov from Hungary, Wieland from Switzerland, Bodan from Ukraine, Kavanen. So the very first throw of the javelin competition from Yami Kunanen from Finland. Unfortunately, it's a foul. Rover has a best of 921.76. We'll probably want to consider herself as a medal contender, keeping. Russia's great middle and long distance women's tradition alive. So Wieland from Switzerland. A little bit short of 70 meters there for Wieland. The, on the bend. Now, Julian Weber, led qualifying with 77.02, European leader, that was thrown 78.17, and that's a good throw over 70 meters to start, about 72, 73 meters, but he's got a lot more to give. Germans talking about him being a phenomenal natural talent, hasn't even really started training properly, they say. Well, now there's a gap between the leading three. Back to the rest. Italy's Anna Stefani leading the chasing group, but it's Emilia Derecha now towing the rest of the field around. Tuna on her shoulder and Petrova in third place as we watch Komarov from Russia. Well, Firman Komarov has a best of 75 63. And that's about five meters short, really, of his best, just over 70 meters for Komarov. Well, Gorecha went through two kilometers in 6.12.19. So, speeding up a little bit over the second kilometer. As we watch Maxim Bodan take his attempt. That's a big throw from Bodan. That is a very big throw indeed. And gets the white flag. That's going to be a big throw. 78-77 national junior record. And the best throw by a European this year. Well, we knew he was good. Rivas Toth, another Hungarian in action. Disappointing throw there from Rivas Toth. Just below the 60 meet, 70 meter mark. So, 
Leader, Maxim Bodan from Ukraine. Another throw over 70 meters. Nothing like as long as the one that currently keeps him in first place that he got on his opening throw of 7877 <laughs> We have uh, one uh, event remaining in uh, Decathlon uh, for the first day. This is the current standings after. And this is Julian Baber. What can he do to respond to Maxim Bodron's big, big ja javelin throw? Well, 77.31, that's significantly better. He's in second place at the moment. And but the rest of the field is rather a long way behind both Bodan and Weber. Has made a little bit of Norwegian athletics history. As we switch back to the men's javelin, and we see Herman Komarov. Yes, there's been no won't trouble the leaders at this stage. As we switch back to the javelin, he's lying in 10th place. But here's a man who's already in the lead. Maxim Bodan from Ukraine. Bodan throwing the spear out to 78-77. A Ukraine national junior record in the first round. His nearest challenger more than meters in arrears. That's Julian Weber. 77-31. To reach the halfway point in this competition. Didn't get the luck of the draw as far as the elements were concerned, but she produced her best when it mattered. The first time clearance at 216, but two failures at earlier heights. As you see, Reavers Toth. Starting the fourth round in the javelin. So, an improvement for Rivas Toth, I think. Hadn't thrown over 69 meters so far in this competition. And that went over well over 70 meters, a bit further than 72 meters, probably. Well, I can tell you that Rivas Toth did in fact throw 72 meters, 41 centimeters, and that moves him up into fifth place. Kimenko having a second failure there. Still one, effort, one attempt left for the Russian. He needs to clear 218 with his last attempt if he's to get a medal. Personal best is indeed 2 meters 18. Veland, 70 meters, and he did have 69 68 to his name in the second round. Silver medalist, German silver medalist, German Julian Weber, 77 31 in the second round. As you can see from that strapping, he's suffering from problems with his left knee. In fact, there was a doubt whether he was going to come here just a few weeks ago. Around 75, 76 meters, not as good as his second round throw. <laughs> 10,000 meters, bronze medalist Dino Bosnak from Croatia, Sadin from France, and Jonathan Davis from Great Britain. As we see, Maxim Bodan, well, he's the event leader at the moment in the jab. Switching quickly to the javelin, in fourth place it's Tony Kusilov. 
That effort coming down short of not 70 metres, but he's in fourth at the moment with 73.06. It's not going to get him into the top three. But he'll have one more throw. To be critical of a man who's just won the gold medal. And ran very, very extravagantly in the opening three kilometers only to suffer a little oh that's a huge throw from Julian Weber as I was extolling the virtues of Ali Kaya. there's the German that is a massive throw indeed that is by far and away a throw that's going to put him in the gold medal position with his fifth throw a huge personal best for Weber himself 79.68 there, personal best by over a metre for Weber. So, in fact I can tell you, Tobias Poiter has decided two attempts was enough and a gold medal would be more than satisfactory. He's retired and won't take his third attempt as we now concentrate on the one remaining final to be decided, the men's javelin. So, Norbert Rivas Toth, no improvement there. He's currently in fifth place with 72 41. Lucas Wieland from Switzerland to take his sixth and final throw. Lying down in eighth at the moment. Feeling the best of just over 71 metres. Doesn't get over the 70 metres. No satisfactions blasting out. In his case, I think that's the case. Here's another man who's hoping he can get a bit of satisfaction. Herman Komarov. Well, Komarov can throw over 76 metres. And he's got the best of the day there for Komarov. That might just be good enough to get him into the bronze medal position. Bronze currently held by Kasper Olashuk at 73.24. Now Komarov. Well, 73.95. Komarov moves up from sixth place up to the bronze medal position with that last gasp throw perhaps a bit of a tall order to close on the two leaders Bodan and Weber who've both gone over well over 78 meters Weber holding the lead at 79.68 well Komarov rather erratic performance but came through and he currently is in the bronze medal position but there are three more throwers who are behind him and could overtake him and also Weber and Bodan still to throw here's one of them Carvenen well Carvenen 71.40 at the moment lying down in seventh Well, we all know what the Finns can do at javelin throwing. Yoni Karvinen. Very, very close to the line there. Well, doesn't improve, comes down well short of 70 meters for Karvinen. Will be measured. the modest 64-14 to finish off Carvenon's series and he stays in seventh place. Ekholm just under 300 points in arrears of Likhanov who's had a great first day. Personal best in all five events but particularly good high jump. Three personal bests in that particular event. Now 
to himself push back to fourth place Kasper Olestruk no so fourth place for the pole just steps over the line and gets the red flag he saw it just drop well short of 70 meters so Olashuk in fact only had one valid throw that's 73-24 which kept him in the bronze medal position for so long until he was overtaken by Herman Komarov from Russia in the sixth round well Weber he's got the silver medal that's for sure but he is in first place he's got leading with 79.68 but he can't relax Bodan from Ukraine who comes after him oh and another great throw but that's not going to be an improvement that's around 78 meters for Weber who's had a terrific series 77.32 77-31 in the second round. 79-68 to take the lead in the fifth round. And that looks like it's around 78 and a half. 78-23. Now Weber has to sit and wait. Bite his nails for a few minutes. Just talking to Kusala from Finland there. Maxim Bodan, the last throw of the competition. 78-77. He led for best part of fifth ra five rounds until Weber unleashed that 79-68. Bodan threw that national junior record for Ukraine in the first round. What has he got left? Can he respond to Julian Weber? He's got the silver medal. Can he? with this very last throw of the competition, turn it into gold, find the Midas touch, it's a big throw, but it's not long enough. It's the silver medal for Maxim Bodan from Ukraine. A very good jump indeed, a very good throw indeed. Might even, I think probably not quite as good as his first round throw. 78-31 I can tell you looking across the stadium to the scoreboard it'll be confirmed on the screen well he did his best 78-37 was further than he'd thrown before this evening but gold medal goes to Julian Weber 7-7-7-79 68 meters and to think just a few weeks ago there was severe doubts whether he was even going to be in Rieti He's been suffering from ligament trouble with his left knee still very much a rough diamond according to the German coaches as he hears the rest of the German team chant his name. Well, Weber takes the last of the 14 gold medals being decided here on the penultimate day of the 22nd European Athletics Junior Championships. Once again, I'd like to thank European Athletics partners, Spa, Le Gruyere and Omega, without whom there'd be no European Athletics live stream. Well, he may be suffering from a bit of knee trouble, but he doesn't feel the pain at this moment as he goes on, well, if not a complete lap of honour, certainly a partial lap with the German flag wrapped around his shoulders. I think if you asked Julian Weber six months ago whether he could see himself in this position, I'd probably say the person who asked him that question was dreaming. See Julian Weber celebrate his gold medal. We're looking at the men's javelin, the final results, and it's confirmed gold for Weber, the personal best of 79.68, bow down a national junior record, and with that last gas throw, Komarov gets the bronze for Russia. That's the results of all 12 men.